Another off center one. Well, gotta live with it. That's all. The face is running good. Not opposite side. What I care about. Gotta go easy with it. So I get the full cut. Then you can put the more pressure. You notice I haven't checked any. I'm pretty accurate with my machine, so this is rough anyway, with 25,000 to finish. I'm going to go easy on this face, see what happens. I might have to do this all the way by hand. See what happens when I get in there a little bit. I'll give it a try. If you throw it out, well, I'll be excited to see guys. center because that off center like that is going to start jumping around. Just take it till I get a full cut. Now you hear it going full cut. Now you can engage the feet. I think I did seven or eight. I don't know which. I might have had one done before I started. I got two more to go. One more after this one here. I did one before I started recording. So that's seven wheels and whatever time lapse this is. This is real time. No cuts. 
you're going to start to suck fuel, steady cut. Then I can put the pressure on. I do it by hand because I don't have to uh, keep changing the feed from cross feed to. On this lathe, I have one lever does both, so I have to keep changing it in and out, and just a pain in that. So for that little short distance, not a problem. I've got three sets in there now. I'm going to do um, another two sets tomorrow. It should take me not long at all. And then I have to um, get ready to do the second side, which is probably going to be the most interesting side for you guys. Um, how I do it, I have a, I'm going to tell you now so you're going to see it anyway. I have a one tool that plunges from the face. In other words, uh, take the wheel and it plunges in from the face and turns it. One tool upside down, one tool on this side, right side up, and it has a guide in the middle like a pilot, and it just comes in from the face and does the whole, the taper and everything. I face it first, and then tape or drill a hole, just a, a rough hole, and then uh, put do, use the um, form tool. So uh, that's what we're going to be showing you on part two. Um, and uh, it's going to be a while before I get to that. I got So I hope you enjoyed the video. We've talked about it for a long time. And uh, turning wheels, man. Making wheels. It's one of the worst jobs in live steam, but this makes it a little pleasurable. Uh, uh, heavy duty lathe, you've got to remember that. You can't really do it on a South Bend lathe. You can do it on a, maybe on a 12 inch South Bend. Maybe. With back gear, maybe. But it um, makes a big difference with the heavy lathe. So uh, we'll see you next on the next uh, part three.